So we're going to take a look at how Torg stickies work in this game. If you are unfamiliar with Torg stickies, well then Torg weapons, at least non-uniques and non-legendaries, have two firing modes. The first is the impact mode, which just works like a regular gun, and the second fires sticky bullets. Now the sticky bullets deal far less damage on impact, but they deal a lot more when they explode, and they explode when you reload. Now having more pellets stuck to a target will lead to more damage being done by each pellet, and this is based off of a percentage shown on the gun card. With this number in mind, the damage of each pellet will more or less follow this formula. Take the number of stickies stuck to a target, subtract 1, and then multiply this number by the percentage on the gun card. Then add all of this to 1 and multiply it by the base damage, and then take about 70% of this number. And that's the formula for all Torg weapons, more or less, at least non-legendaries and non-uniques. And if you are using elemental versions, you do need to keep those multipliers in mind too. We'll start off with this pistol. It's non-elemental and has a base damage of 1588. When the first sticky hits, we're dealing 111 damage, which is about 7% of our base damage. On the reload, we deal 10 times the impact damage of the sticky at 1112. Now this is just one projectile, so there's no damage increase for multiple projectiles, but it still follows the formula. Next we'll fire all six shots. When they explode, they each deal 1668 damage. Now with the formula, we have 0 0.7 times 1588 times in parentheses, 1 plus the product of the sticky multiplier percentage, which is 10% here, and the number of stickies that are stuck minus 1. So with all of this, we get about 1667. Now we will take a look at this Radiation 18 Pellet Double Penetrating Bang Stick. Radiation is neutral on flesh, which lucky for us is how the test dummy is coded. This gun has a base damage of 203, and this one has a magazine of 5. And I didn't mention it yet, but the sticky percentage is based on your magazine size. Generally, the higher the magazine, the lower the percentage. Though there's at least one exception with 4 mag shotguns because it lowers their pellet count. Anyways, this 5 mag has a sticky increase of 2% per pellet, so when we shoot 54 pellets at the dummy, this is what we plug into the formula. And we get about 292.7, which is right in line with the 292 on the screen. Next, we'll take a look at this 3-way, which has a base damage of 2219 and shoots 3 projectiles. Shooting 3 projectiles deals 466 damage. On the reload, this is the formula we use, and we get about 1801. There's obviously some rounding going on because it's not quite the 1809 on the screen, but it's close, within 1%. Now there's one more thing I want to show. I have two targets here, the test dummy and a cyclone I spawned. If you split your pellets between two targets, then the stickies on each target will have a different damage depending on the number of stickies on a target. So basically you can't split your sticky pellets and get the maximum damage. You can see here I shoot some at the cyclone and then one at the dummy, and the one on the dummy deals 1112 damage which is just the damage of one pellet exploding even though we hit more than one with this magazine. So just as a recap, here is the formula. That's it for Torque Stickies, guys. See ya!